The Daisies have been rather inconsistent in the league so far, but today's Walsh Park test will assess exactly where they are. The Moss Ryan is an eight change at top of the left in an attack that will depend on the scoring touches of Owen McGrath and Shane Walsh. Owen Kelly partners Richie Foley at centre field, while Shane O'Sullivan slots into the number six jersey for the injured Michael Brick Walsh. Cork goalkeeper Anthony Nash was under the impression Owen Cadigan was going to be his fullback today, but instead it's Ronan Curran. Or indeed, will it be somebody else? The second change is at left corner forward, where Pat Horgan gets his chance for the not feeling so well Paddy O'Sullivan. There are a few talking points, like Sean O'Gohalpine named at left corner back, John Gardner at midfield, while Keen McCarthy, son of the legendary Teddy, starts at centre forward for the first time. The man in charge is Johnny Ryan from County Tipperary in a clash that's uh, always entertaining, always exciting. First puck of the slither is for a Corkman, that's John Gardner, and that ball is warped. Easily cut out here by Shane O'Neill, who's been promoted from corner back to wing back. Bishopstown lad from the south side of Cork City. Cork playing with the aid of a very strong breeze in this first half and they're also having the advantage of the sun to their backs. Interesting to see how uh, Mark O'Brien copes with the hurling talents of Michael Cusson. The familiar style and poise of Ben O'Connor. And the result is nearly always the same. Opening score to Cork. Swirling breeze very much a factor here and Waterford against the wind have decided to play it short. Paris Mark O'Brien runs on for Owen Kelly. Hits it onto the left hand side and the white flag is going to be raised. Former Mount Sign, now Passage Star, hitting that smack over the crossbar. Good score. Niall McCarthy with that familiar green and white helmet. Went off the hands of Keen McCarthy. Runs on to Kevin Moore. We're more used to seeing him at centre back or wing back for either his club De La Salle or Waterford. This is Sean O'Gohalpine. Wearing number four. This is a good effort that is going straight over the black spot. Well worked by Pat Horgan. And well taken. And over to the far over side, chasing after Sean O'Gohalpine. Getting there first is Owen McGrath. Challenging Ben O'Connor. O'Halpine to Ben, to Ronan Kirk, familiar names, big names in Cork hurling over the last 10 years. Getting it down to a newcomer, Michael Cushion, leaves it, then goes to try and gather it here. Hits the deck, picked up by Noel Connors, an emerging star, dispossessed here by Pat Horgan. Connors without a hurl, picked up neatly by Kieran Murphy. Over here is Cushion all alone, the big man has it, the big man scores! Greco, outstanding for his club, Sarsfields in last year's championship. The former footballer, the jewel star, could possibly still be playing for both. But he certainly has the scoring touches, hasn't he, in Hurling. Well won by Kevin Moore. Sending it in towards Shane Walsh. Brian Murphy at full back, trying to stand guard. It's great run by Walsh. He kicks it across the face of the goal. And Cork have it once more with Sean O'Gohalpine. This must be put down as a real opportunity as the ball comes in. Shane Walsh gets inside the cover of Brian Murphy. Takes the shot. You can see he miscued it completely. And Cork clear their lines. Testing goal for Brian Murphy. He's been moved to the edge of the square. Half blocked. Sideline ball. This was Brian Murphy trying to clear. Shane Walsh got in a good block. The line ball conceded. Kevin Hartness. Sent back in by Owen Kelly. Hits it beautifully. He certainly is a very talented hurler. Great effort. Great score. Kieran McCarthy, flicking it out far as Kieran Murphy. Carl Nocton is available. 
Goes for the point. Good hands by Clinton Hennessy. Trying to get away from Michael Cusson. Not easy. This is Jamie Nagel. Gives the ball away to Cusson. Takes his point. And Clinton Hennessy, the keeper, is furious. Cusson punished the air. Richie Foley. Stephen Malumphy underneath this. So too, Roman Kerr. Back to his keeper, Anthony Nash. Goes for the long ball, two against one here. Picked up by Colin Octon. Lovely little touch by Ben O'Connor to break it down to him. Ben Coles orchestrates the play from midfield. Goes for the wind-assisted point. It's a long, long one. It's a great one. That's his first from play. But to be honest with you, he created as well, considering that he directed Cahal Nocton to give him the pass back, having originally knocked it down. Then the Swansh must be reasonably pleased with the first half performance. As Cahal Nocton lobs it high towards Cushion. Big problem for Waterford when it's dropped in at that elevation. And it's a very good score again. That's a goal and two points the full forward has scored. Good ball in. Carl Nocton, good finish. Down towards Tomas Ryan. First time pull required, and that's exactly what he does. In towards center half forward, and pull forward Shane Walsh. In the center, all alone is Richie Foley. It's all McGrath. Hand pass is all that's required. McGrath didn't see him in time. Hits it out to this side. The opportunity lost for Waterford. He's still in possession. Owen Kelly. Hits it onto his left. It's a good effort. The keeper is in the back of the net, but much more importantly, so too is the ball. Where was the court defence? Who was supposed to be marking him? Shane Walsh. The ball sent in by Kelly. Dropping ball. Dangerous. Shane Walsh unmarked. Whether or not he got the touch doesn't really matter now. And Anthony Nash is suffering as a result. Cork players are protesting that Shane Walsh was inside the small rectangle. And if it isn't that, I'm sure they're arguing that, that the goalkeeper was fouled here. Nobody actually got a touch. Ball went in all the way as a result of Shane Walsh hindering goalkeeper Anthony Nash. Here comes Kane McCarthy. Lovely flick. Michael Cushion to his left. Here's Cushion. He has to control it. He now has to hit it. Oh, brilliant goal. What a response by Cork. Fabulous play by the Cork forwards. Ray Cummins comes to mind here. They feed him big, they feed him low, they feed him whatever way you want. But Cushion is deadly around goals. This time it was Keen McCarthy feeding his club mate from Sarsfields. A Sarsfields double act. But more importantly, a Cork goal. A good play indeed by Michael Walsh. Got a great hook in. Comes for as Richie Foley. Blocked again. Cleared by John Gardner. Anywhere will do for the time being. In order for to put the pressure back on again. Into our Shane Walsh. Back outside, there's a chance here. Oh, good save. It's over the bar of the boot of Shane Prendergast. This was a little bit of anxiety for Cork here as Prendergast slipped and he drove it over the bar, in fact, himself. 